Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou, and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we will be talking about the most habitable places in our solar system. So let's go. Saturn's moon Enceladus is a giant surface sheet of ice and it's pretty thick, five kilometers thick at the poles, increasing to a global average of 20 kilometers. Despite this, we believe that if you can get through this thick shell beneath the surface could harbor reservoirs of liquid water. And as we know, liquid water is found on the only planet we know harbors life, Earth. The water on Enceladus is heated by the gravitational interactions of Saturn and its moons. But in addition, giant plumes of water vapor spew out of the planet's cracked surface. This suggests another mechanism that is keeping the subsurface warm. But we're still not quite sure what that is yet. The most similar place to Earth in this solar system is the planet Mars, once believed to have resided within the Goldilocks zone, a place that liquid water could survive on the surface. Mars would have been covered in oceans, just like here on Earth. Today, the planet is a barren wasteland covered in dust, but the gravity there is just a third of what we feel here on Earth, and it experiences seasons just like we do too. The temperatures at the equator can get to a comfortable 20 degrees Celsius, which makes Mars an ideal location in our solar system for human settlement. And for this reason, humans have set their sights on this destination by 2035. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is even larger than the planet Mercury and potentially habitable. No liquid water flows on Titan's surface, but beneath its cloudy atmosphere harbors lakes of liquid methane. Scientists believe that life may be sustained by methane. The surface pressure on Titan is just 50% higher than on Earth. This means that we wouldn't need a pressurized suit to go there. However, with a mostly nitrogen atmosphere and temperatures dropping to minus 180 degrees Celsius, you would definitely need a breathing mask and some warm clothes. Jupiter's moon Europa is blasted by the radiation of Jupiter. Life just wouldn't be able to survive there, well, at least on the surface. Beneath the water ice crust, Europa hosts a salty ocean and all the chemicals necessary for life, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. The numerous comet and asteroid impacts would have brought even more organics to the moon. The radiation of Jupiter splits these water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen, ensuring that there's plenty of it here. If there's any other life in our solar system, it's likely to be found in the ocean depths of Europa, living just like the life found at the bottom of our own ocean floors. The runaway greenhouse effect on Venus heats the planet to over 400 degrees Celsius temperatures. The immense 92 bar pressure is enough to make your lungs implode instantly. And the sulfuric acid rain may make Venus seem like quite a hostile location. However, high up in the Venusian atmosphere is an environment that is surprisingly tolerable. Here, the temperatures can be cool enough to feel comfortable. And the sulfuric acid and carbon monoxide Oxide could serve as food for microbes. Anyone fancy living on a balloon in the Venusian clouds? The moon isn't particularly habitable without an atmosphere to protect us from the radiation of deep space. There is ice water trapped in the craters and the poles that humans could recycle into oxygen and hydrogen fuel. But most importantly, it's the closest place to Earth, just a six day trip away. This makes the moon an ideal location to colonize and then set up a gas station stop for our journey out further into the solar system. NASA's upcoming Artemis mission was then the first woman and the next man to the moon. But this is just the beginning for a moon permanent base and a space station around the moon for easy access. 
So that's my list of most habitable places in our solar system. Let me know in the comment section below which one you'd like to relocate to. And as usual, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.